Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and I'm going to do an unboxing of the latest Mac Mini at the time of uh, December 2015. Now this is just the uh, this is the base model. It's got a 500 gig hard drive inside, and I think it's um, let's see, it's 1.4 gigahertz dual core Intel Core i5. So for my intended purpose, that's plenty. Um, Pretty powerful enough because I'm going to use it as a um, as a home server of sorts. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the box here and see what we've got. One thing worth mentioning, if you did intend to purchase this less expensive Mac Mini model and do a memory upgrade yourself, and what I've been told, this is unlike the previous version where it was easy. So I don't even know if this is upgradable. So be sure to, to get it how you want it. Uh, check the link within this video's description and you can find where to, uh, where to order it online. What I like about the Mac Mini, this current version, is that obviously I got my power switch, power plug, gigabit ethernet, that's crucial, HDMI, I won't be using this with a TV, I mean I won't be using it with a monitor, I'll be using it with an HD TV, but most of the time I'll just screen share in and control it remotely. Two Thunderbolt 2 ports, and then one, two, three, four, four USB 3.0 ports, headphone speakers, and SD card slot. So an amazing amount of stuff you get packed into this little bitty form factor here. And obviously I could have built my own small PC and installed Ubuntu Linux or something along those lines on it. But since all my computers are Macs, you know, looking at this as the server component was it was kind of a no-brainer for me, and I, I felt the price wasn't that bad for what it is. Power cord. Hello! And then, uh, of course, you get your stickers in there, too. So very, very basic packaging, obviously like most, well actually like all Macs now that are coming out, they don't have an optical drive, so you, know, you install. It's got, this one has uh, El Capitan preloaded, but you know, if you needed to reinstall OS, you would do it by way of the internet. But yeah, not not big at all. I mean, I like the, like the size of this, minimal a minimal amount of space that it'll occupy and it'll it'll enable me to uh, you know to set up my server so stay tuned be sure to subscribe if you haven't already youtube.com forward slash irixguy and you'll be able to see my home server set up as I put it together again this is just the unboxing video I took the took the Mac mini out of the box and it's worth mentioning if you weren't <clears throat> if you weren't using this as a server like I am I mean this is a great way to get into a Mac on a budget because you can get one of these for very affordable price again check the link within this video's description but you can bring your own keyboard mouse and monitor and it's an affordable way to get you know to get in involved with a Mac for video editing photo editing etc so if you watch my videos you know that everything I do with video and photo I do it on a Mac and that's not because I'm Mac versus PC it's because when it comes to the software and the results that I can achieve 
I can achieve a lot better results with video and photo using the Mac software than I can with any software that I found for Linux or Windows. So just some more information for you there and uh, uh, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Y'all have a good day.